Happy New Year, everybody. Just kind of getting a little warmed up here. It's good to see everybody. You just don't know what to expect. Just know it's going to be joyful and a lot of fun to be able to be with you guys today. Wow. Got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff we're going to talk about today. Good to see Luca and Eves and Friedrich and Sanders and Home Home. Linger. Cinematic Alpha's in the house. And Peaches, Dennis, God bless you all. Good to see you. We're going to get started here. like a little appetizer um, or what I call maybe a palate, a little a little appetizer, palate cleanser. Well, well, whatever it is, welcome. And this is Simeon from praisetracks.com, the home of the joyful sound. And it is so good to see everybody. And first of the year, first live stream of the year, and uh, Chewy's here, and uh, there's a there's an extra visitor with us, and uh, you know it's going to be kind of fun. He's going to be bouncing around the studio during the live stream. Not during. If he does it during, we're in trouble. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, if you see baby Boba Fett on the shelf moving around during the live stream, yeah, we've got a we've got a totally new problem here. Well, I tell you what, hey, there's my friend Billy Richard, uh, and uh, he was the uh, winner of, of the um, last live stream uh, orchestra, th or the orchestra complete three, so congratulations on that. And Zozilla, Zozilla the Great is in the house, and it's good to see you, and all my good friends. Man, it's, uh, it's wonderful, uh, wonderful to be with you. I want to uh, just, uh, you know, this first part of the live stream, I'm gonna just take care of some housekeeping, uh, business, and that kind of thing, and tell you some things that are uh, that are coming up. And, okay, here we go. Yeah, Cinepads, yeah, yeah, Cinepads is, uh, is going to be really fun. Um, got a lot to say about that. Uh, okay, so I get a lot of viewer questions in the comments, you know, and I, and I love answering those questions. So I thought we would have a fun, um, a fun time just kind of catching up. And the live streams are a great way to do that. I had a comment on uh, the uh, the GX80 from Cherry Audio. Yeah, the GX80 from Cherry Audio. And one of the things that, uh, that they ask, what does it sound like without the effects, without the reverb? A lot of times instruments and sample libraries, they can kind of hide uh, inside of effects. You put a bunch of reverb and wash or delays. Uh, it kind of has a way of, um, you know, a way of being able to, um, you know, kind of mask things. And and so we don't want to do that. We, I, You know, one of the things that I always do, I never put extra effects on a sample library or an instrument unless you know about it. So a lot of times I'll put Valhalla or Black Hole on something, but I'm always going to tell you uh, because I want you to hear it exactly like it's supposed to be. So let's, uh, let's just take a look at this real quick. And what I'll do is I'm going to just run, uh, run through a couple of the patches yeah, you know, Cherry Audio, yeah, you've got to watch the oversampling. I think I don't have the oversampling turned up too much, but it's just like it can really eat into the CPU with all the things that it's doing. Uh, so just tears in the rain. It just why not with that? Um, and let's see. Yeah, Yuhi, yeah, Yuhi is fantastic. And I've got some of those here, and maybe one of these days we'll take a look at those. So this is just tears in the rain. And let me see if the um, if I've got effects. And let's get in here and focus. Okay, so we don't have any effects here now. Now let's turn on the effects here. Here we go. Yeah. 
no, now they're off, now they're off. Okay, when the button is pushed back, uh, when the toggle's pushed back, then they're off. So we're gonna just click them off here and just kind of play around a little bit. on and you instantly hear some different things going on. It gives it a little motion. Yeah, so uh, on my stream deck here, I'm seeing, I've got a CPU meter on there and I'm hearing a little, a couple of different things going on. But I've got a ton of stuff loaded too. So let's just go to another patch. Let's go to like a pad and um, let's see, do we got some favorites? Um, let's see if I've got some favorites loaded. Fantasy Ensemble, let's do that. And let's go back down to the effects. And turn off the effects. Yeah, we got a couple of cracks. Wow. I think what I really like about the CSA, the GX80, is that fat bottom end. That's without effects. Hello, testing one, two, is this on? Is this on? <laughs> okay, let's reset that. And let's get, jump in here too. And, and you know, this is good because uh, it helps us get a chance to get some of the, some of the bugs, um, some of the bugs worked out. That's great. Yeah, we're gonna get this, uh, get this going here. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, great. Let's bring this back up. And let's just do a couple more of these. And this kind of helps us get our get a little warm up here. Let's go to um, let's go to some more pads. Yeah, that that uh, that vocal level feels better here too. So let's see. Elevate your understanding. Yeah, the GX80 is really pushing. It's got a good output. Now this is of course with effects. Reminds me of Mannheim Steamroller. We actually got to see uh, Mannheim Steamroller in uh, concert. It was like a week before last. Uh, so it was the Tuesday after, after Christmas and that was a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn off the effects so we can kind of hear and um, yeah, so that makes a big difference. Yeah. 
now we turn the effects back on and it does it does create some space especially the delays so that's just a little taste of that and um, so that's just a little taste of that because uh, you know, and that's something that I want to try to do um, in the future, just run things with and without effects so we can get a really clear understanding of what exactly is going on. Um, that's, uh, yeah, ju it's just crazy. It's just got such a beautiful sound to it um, and thick. It's very thick. Okay. So now what we're going to do, um, I, <clears throat> I've been kind of, let's just make sure we're hydrated and I, I see a lot from many individual developers, the smaller developers, the indie developers, the, the guys that are in the trenches doing, uh, doing things. Start this off and we can show a couple of their, of their titles. And <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna have to check it out. I think I have one of their uh, FM synth synthesis, uh, synthesizers and um, I'm gonna have to check them out because of what I was hearing was really good. Um, but Wrong Tools is really neat. It takes takes a really interesting approach with their with their sounds. They also have a really cool uh, pre-release strategy where you have a pre-order price before it's released uh, instead of after it's released. So that's kind of neat. So we're gonna pull up a couple of their their sounds because I want to make sure we've got plenty of time to spend with um, with piece and the other instruments that we're going to talk about today. So it, you need the full version of Contact for this. And um, and so Tangent, I think if you sign up for their mailing list and uh, links are in the description, that uh, this is like a free, a free piano from them that uh, kind of get you started. And they have some other free, other free instruments. They just kind of take a different approach. Every samplist uh, has a different voice, a different DNA. So it's just, just kind of like a spacious. You know, I'm running in contact. I'm still, I'm still at contact six, so. So they've got two signals, the piano signal and then a tape um, tape signal, which kind of changes the character of that sound. And I got this free <laughs> from uh, signing up on the on the mailing list, so that's really cool. Really nice, and they've got some cool effects here and um let's see yeah yeah dennis that's what i'm waiting for i'm waiting for <laughs> the summer of sound summer of sound and that's that's how i actually actually upgraded my version of contact i actually did a cross grade uh to that so that's a good time to do that let's look at their effects now their effects are really kind of interesting and they have come up with their own unified type of interface and they've got these all these different crazy granular type of effects this is uh, i think it's called knocking and then we can try some of the other ones pigment yeah, these are just like little randomizer things. And then we have an XY pad that we can just mess around with these sounds. It's really wild. Let's see. Yeah, they're like different granular types of presets. They do different things, I guess, with sample starts and granular techniques. And let's uh, let's go ahead and go on to another one of their instruments. They're a dulcitone. They've got a dulcitone and 
you're gonna you're gonna hear just something different and unusual. And this is a dulcet tone that they've sampled. sets here and I'm using the, the quick load now if you look uh, if, you, if you look in contact the non the non-contact player libraries use um, a great way to do it is uh, dropping these things down in the quick load and what I discovered is that if they're in the quick load directories uh, down here you can have them accessible by dropping the arrow down here and this arrow next to the uh, preset name will will serve as kind of like a, a quick uh, quick access to your quick load. So I can go here to my wrong tools uh, entry and here it has all their instruments in the in the uh, quick load. And so I thought that was a really fast way to do it. So this is called uh, Carillonish. Here we go. Yeah, Summer of Sound is a, is is great. <laughs> and uh, one of the cool things is you can if you have a free, like a, there's some uh, companies that give away a free contact player library, well, you can use that as a cross grade to the full version of contact. So, yeah. So this is like a carillon, that's, and here we go. <laughs> So we've got all these different sound sources here. So we can just go and mix those. So this is just the straight uh, dulcet tone here. Yeah, so that's just the straight dulcet tone. Now let's check out the uh, this here. I guess it's called, um, uh, yeah. So this is the mechanical sounds. So you have adjustments on that. And then, okay. So it's like a, like a grant, like a pad. Yeah, it's pad. synth yeah that's wild and then we can blend everything together That's wild. Okay, let's check out a couple more of the presets for the uh, dulcet tone. And we've got fables, uh, individual with felt. Okay, felt hammers, let's check that out. And uh, it's loading that, so, oh wow. Listen how nice and delicate that is. So it's like with felt on,
That's really nice. Okay, let's keep going. And sometimes I miss the, uh, <laughs> I miss where I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's see. Let's go to, um, well, Reflection. Or Claire de Lune. I saw Claire de Lune. That, uh, that always catches my, catches my eye here. Uh, here we go. It is very organic sounding, I agree. Ooh. It just feels really airy and breathy. That's beautiful. And there's so many, there's so many things, places to go. Silk Roads, let's check out the roads. This was one of the first, uh, first ones, uh, first uh, instruments that I had uh, picked up from them. And so let's just check that out. This is just the Silk Sustained. got the same types of controls as on the dulcitone. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, okay, so the, the, the mod wheel brings up this crazy thing. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, Spitfire has been on vacation. I guess they're just now getting back, Kyle. So I apologize for the delay, but uh, hopefully very soon they're gonna get that to you. So, so thank you so much and congratulations. And uh, just keep an eye, keep an eye on your inbox and we're gonna make sure you get that. So uh, thank you so much and congratulations again. Yeah, this is wild. So when you pump up that mod wheel, it just, oh, that's the pedal noise. Okay, so it's, it's not actually a pad. I, okay, so like these eyes, okay, let's see. So this is just the note layer. And then the silk layer, there we go. I love how they build all this stuff in. And then we've got uh, the mixer section on the side that you can adjust the different uh, effects sends, the LFOs and vibrato and all of that kind of stuff. They just kind of keep things a little simple and easy to get to. Okay. Let's just check out one more. Okay, we've got some ARPs. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see the original here. So this is kind of like a um, an arpeggiated type of sound. That's kind of wild. It's got some really cool things. Let's um, let's check out. One more library from them, the Feathersome, Feathersome Strings. And uh, let's go to their Ultra Soltasto uh, layered. Yeah, the, the, the sounds, the sounds are so, they are, they're kind of, they, they're pure sounds, but then they take them and they, they just go, th go and do all these crazy things with them. And it, that's what makes them so, so beautiful and <clears throat> flexible. When you're especially using those built-in granular things and their their effects. Now this is uh, Feathersome Strings, the Soltesto, and check out the, check them out in the description.
This has two mic perspectives. delicate sound to it. Let's uh, go to their uh, pendulum. And these are more uh, motion oriented. Let's see. Let's go to the flautando, rich flautando. You know, Mr. Tugwit, I need to find out. I don't think that they, I don't think they might, they might not do anything. I think it might just be a color uh, thing, but I will definitely have to check it out. And I think we've got the, uh, <laughs> well, now this is kind of cool. You actually um, have like a little manual in here. Yeah, this is a great, I, you know, uh, you know, Zozilla, I, it was, it's like, uh, I say wrong tools, um, if you're looking for the right tools, look look to wrong, look at wrong tools or something like that. Um, <laughs> they've got so many cool things going on. And each one of these, we could probably spend an entire. Yeah, the mod wheel controls what's called coldness. And you hear all of the stuff going on on the inside. It's just amazing. I just get, it's just like you get pulled into a different, um, different environment. Okay, let's see. Let's check out one more. Uh, okay, the sculpts. And, and there's so many, so many presets and so many patches here. Um, let's see. Let's go to a fable, myth, or fantasy. Yeah, you know, that's the power. That's the power of these. So you have organic sounds mixed with synth, and that just, that, that, that hybrid approach is just such an amazing thing. Okay, ooh. these little grains and stuff happening. And then you've got the um, XY. Isn't that cool? Yeah, mixing these together with other things. That's wild. And it keeps going. Yeah, and the mod wheel controls the, the uh, intensity of that. That's wild. Okay, let's just, we gotta, we gotta check out one more uh, of Feather Some Strings with the sculpts. Let's go to... Um, uh, man, they've got some cool names. December Nights Guy. Um, 
you, you know, I think I think it's using this that that granular type of thing. I don't think it's a delay. Um, I think it's actually like sample starts or maybe like even an arpeggiator type of thing. Um, so this is using knocking. Let's see. Oh, come on. I don't hear anything. Maybe I have to. Okay. Okay. I might, I might have found one that's not going to load. Let's try, let's try another one with the sculpts. <laughs> Crypto, oh, oh, darn that dream. <laughs> let's check that. Okay, I think I might have something going on with the, with my patches um, loading those. So let's get off of that and I can do some more research on that. So let's go back to a pendulum. Overlapping swells. Yeah, there we go. And the mod wheel controls dynamics. Listen to that when you. Yeah, it's just got such a neat sound. And yeah, I need to find out if we do have key switches involved with this um, because you would, you would think that you would have something going on. It's like, I need to read the manuals, which, which honestly I seldom do, but I need to do a lot more. Um, so that's just a little, that's just a little taste of wrong tools. I mean, they are continually bringing out so many things and um, you know, we can just check back the, at the browser and you can just see cl clavinets and so many different uh, guitars and strings and keyboards. Uh, so make sure you check them out because they're really doing some really cool things. They've got percussion, piano and stringed instruments. And uh, so that's, uh, that's a lot of fun. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I'm not sure, I'm not sure if there is a way that to, you can create your own, I think you could create your own patches and save them as snapshots. Uh, but again, I got, got to read the manual. <laughs> so thank you, man. I love, I love it. I love it. So what I want to do, uh, I want to just uh, give an update on, um, on what's what's happening and what's going to be happening on the uh, on the site uh, on the channel, and so one of the things that that I did at the beginning of the year, I reset the wheel of fun. So, so the wheel of fun has been reset. So that means that you know go to the link in the description and be able to uh, sign up again. Uh, another yes, yeah, the full version of contact is. Um, is required. Yeah, for 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 the wrong tools instruments, yes, you do need the full version of contact. And uh, so let's see. So what uh, what what we've done is that uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. So I created uh, I just kind of refreshed the uh, the wheel of fun. So now uh, it's going to be taking new entries. And so now uh, in the if you look in the link in the description um, it, we will have, um, there's another thing and I'm gonna see if I can pull this up here where we can, where I can show it to you. Okay. So this is something brand new. I've never done this before. Uh, but, um, but this is something that I've kind of always wanted to do. Um, and this is an ask me anything. And so you'll, you'll see the link down in the description below. And I'll also publish this on the community tab on the channel. So, this is a place where you can just kind of come and just ask me anything. And you'll look down at the very small print within reason. So it's just like within reason. So, you know, ask about uh, me personally, my musical experience, or if there's a certain question about a library that you'd like to know. And if I have it, uh, if I have it, I'll, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll dig into that. Um, you know, just, um, just anything. If you've got a question about the channel, 
uh, about music in general, just uh, just what anything that you think would you would you would like to know. Uh, so, uh, and then we're going to have a lot of fun, and I'm going to try to do this next uh, on the next live stream. So we're gonna we're gonna fire up the Wheel of Fun next week, and then the Ask Me Anything. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun, and I look forward to doing that. I want to just try to do different things that uh, that you guys you guys want to see on the channel, and things that will inspire you and help you. That's what uh, that's what I want to do. Okay, so let's um, let's do this. So this is something. This is something that's been out for a while, and I don't really know why. I've not uh, gotten into it sooner, but you know what? There is a time and a purpose for everything. So today, uh, today is the day. So Swords into Plowshares um, is created by um, a gentleman named, um, uh, oh, let's see. Oh my goodness, okay, so so a piano course. So the thing is, somebody that that really doesn't have no, you know, I know how to read chord charts and things, uh, but it's like I'm trying to figure out a way that I can, you know, share some of the things that I do in a way that is understandable. Uh, because honestly, it's it's just a part of who I am. It just kind of comes out, and it's just it's very hard to explain what happens. Uh, when when I'm sitting down at an instrument and playing, there's so many things going on. But I'm going to try to figure out a way to take different aspects of of what I'm what I'm doing and just kind of make little nuggets or something about um, you know like chords or inversions or different things like that. Um, so that's something that I'm working on. And my my you know my brain is divided into two. You know that that real wild outside of the box and then the then the analytical the mathematical and so this out of the box is just way over here and so it's trying to pull both of them together to make sense of something um so I'm gonna try to do that um let's see uh, yeah i'm gonna try i used to drive um i used to drive my piano teachers crazy because they would play the instrument and and I would just hear it, and I would play it back next week. And they said, "You got to read the music." And I was going, "I can't, I, you know, I, I I can hear it faster than I can read it." So that was my big uh, big problem. Yes. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, yeah. So let's go back. So uh, Max Histive is the gentleman that uh, has created this library, and it is just very unusual and very profound. It's a very profound uh, thing. Uh, and he lives in Kiev, Ukraine, and he's captured this. He's captured this. Let, let's just let's just pull this up and see. Um, yeah. So this was um, this was recorded during the very first um, weeks of the invasion uh, into Ukraine, and so he has these recordings of explosions and. I mean, it's it's unimaginable. My name is Max Hista. Yeah, Hista. I am a Ukrainian sound designer, yeah. music producer, and video director. There is a war in Ukraine. Emotions cannot be conveyed in words. So I begin to document the sounds of my daily life. Yeah. So. That's just a little bit of, of what this is, is about. It's that he's recorded these things. And uh, one of the cool things is that Sound Iron and Native Instruments have teamed up to help, uh, to help Max put this into an instrument. And so that's what, uh, that's what we're gonna kind of take a look at. And then we're gonna take a look at something uh, phenomenal that ties in with this as well. So this is one of the things too, is that, um, you can, this doesn't require the full version of Contact. This is, this can be used in the free Contact player. So uh, that is great. So when you order this from, uh, from Max's website, uh, you'll actually get a serial number that uh, goes into um, uh, native access. So it will play in the free Contact player. And that is great. 
Okay, yeah, David, I haven't heard about that. And uh, so I'm, I will check that out too. Uh, amazing. Okay, so let's just see. So the, uh, the library comes with two, uh, yes, you see it comes right in the, um, right in the full, con I mean, the uh, contact player. And that is great. That makes it easy for people to have access. And I think at the time, uh, it's 59 euros, but you can drop it down. And we have uh, just one main NKI, and then we have a directory of custom, uh, custom effects. And so we're just gonna take a look at some of these. And it's, uh, it's, it's sobering uh, when you think about it. So I'm gonna just load the uh, main. It's amazing. Okay, so this is um, alarms. And this is the sound iron interface, which I really like. You've got two layers, uh, an ambisynth and um, two, amb two ambisonic, ambisense, not ambisonic. That's Alejandro's uh, territory. But uh, you see the, these are just different alarms captured here. And you can use these. For and it's just, it just takes you right there. Play these. So they become instruments. They become something different from what they are. Yes, Max has, uh, you know, I just, I'm just discovering, kind of just discovering this. And he has beautiful, uh, you know, sample loop libraries and, um, video stock footage and that kind of thing available. Uh, so this is the alarms. And then we've got animal effects. And these are Ukrainian animals here. And you can imagine, listen to that. Just different soundscapes. It's incredible. It's just amazing field recordings that become. Yeah. It's a, a lot of sound design and more of like what the found sounds and the field recordings are. Uh, like the black, you just have different that you can use. very sobering to me. I mean, we live close to, um, not very far from Fort Knox, and when they're doing those drills, those artillery drills, it's like you hear it. It sounds like thunder, but you know it's not thunder and, and incredible. And we have impacts. And the thing is that these were captured right there where where this is this current event is happening. So we got just like different nature effects like steps and different things. It's just really interesting to me. And I just uh, I just got this today. Got different tools. And you can watch the video, I'm sure, and learn more about what uh, what's being used here. We've got transport effects, like automobiles, vehicles. Oh, that's it. That's cool. Being able to layer these.
yeah, incredible stuff. And uh, yeah, this is this is ready, <laughs> ready for sure. Uh, now let's uh, check into the um, the custom effects presets, and this um, this kind of takes um, takes it a little bit more into more uh, what you would call. Um, let's go to early morning battle, more spread out like an instrument type of thing. And if in anything, you're supporting, you're supporting a fellow musician and someone that is um, right in the middle of this um, conflict. Yeah, this is a little more tonal. tangent piano again because it has a really interesting um, texture to it and now I'm going to um, let's just look at that um, layer that with what I was just playing there let's, and hear what happens so we're going to layer this pin this open and we're going to layer this with the uh, with the dusted. And the way I do that, I, I just echo the MIDI track, so I'm playing playing these both at the same time. and different things going on because sound captures your heart uh, or you know your spirit there captures it it just captures it 
and then we're we're just we're just re-releasing it back into uh, wow wow it's very uh, yeah it's very amazing very amazing my goodness okay let's see there we go and we can try one more of these you know it's um it, it it's just an amazing thing it's a very sobering thing and i keep using that word sobering because we we are in our um we're in our lives and everything and, and there's so much going on around us um and yeah something happens that just shakes us out of our norm ooh okay let me make sure i'm not uh, yeah yeah this is interesting So let's see what's going on here. Layer one is the alarms. Layer two is alarms. Then we've got radio tones in the ambisynth, and then we've got um, like a saw sustains in here. Yeah, yeah, I know the, I know what you, I know what it you, I know the feeling, um, I know the feeling, um, I know the feeling, uh, yeah, that's really interesting, that's called goodbye, so, um, yeah, so the whole thing is, um, that's, it's, it's interesting, so I would definitely check out his link, the whole thing about the war and all of the conflicts that are going on that we don't even know about is it's just not the conflicts themselves. It's like all of the people that are involved. And I think that's what, um, that's what really moves me more than anything. Uh, if you're, if you, you're just all of these innocent people that they're just kind of involved in, um, in this. So, okay. Yeah. So in the uh, sound iron engine, yes, we can, we can mix these sources together. So like with this goodbye layer, let's just kind of, um, so the ambus synth here, and when you click on, when you click on the uh, label, it switches the controls where you can control the different things going on. So, so we've got the volume, so we can adjust the volume level. Let's see what's on layer one. Yeah, so this is layer one, and we can we can click on layer one and adjust the volume to that, and click on Ambisynth one, bring that up. So we have full control over the uh, different um, different sound sources. You just click on there, and then it just ta it it just changes this interface where you can control all of that. And then plus, when you click on the effects, the effects rack opens up so many more possibilities. So yeah, yeah, Florian, the sounds just have, they just immerse you right into, um, into it puts you right there in that, uh, in that space. So make sure, make sure you check out the Sound Aaron site and Max's site to learn more about what he's doing. Um, and our prayers are with him uh, in Kiev and with his countrymen and with everyone involved in this. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm doing here, Zoe, is uh, just using two instances and then just just linking them together that way. That's a quick that's a quick and dirty way for me to do it. Uh, but like you mentioned before, you can create beautiful multis inside of Contact, and um, that uh, that is a very powerful thing to do. So, so speaking of um, speaking of multis, <laughs> speaking of multis. You know, 
and this is the thing. I know, I, I think Andrew's still here with us. Andrew Fly from uh, Cinematic Alpha. And honestly, with this uh, series that he's come out with recently, the Cinepad series, I just keep feeling like he's finding his voice in these. Um, we we have Cinematic, Cinepads Volume 1, and we showed... Um, we showed Cinepads Volume 1 a couple of live streams ago. And then today we're going to take a look at Cinepads Volume 2. And there he is. There he is. Just such a dear friend. And I've just so enjoyed getting to know him over the years, uh, past couple of years especially. Um, each of these, each of these volumes uh, carry with it a different theme and uh, a different, a different feeling about them. Uh, so we're going to um I'm gonna just pull, pull up Cinepads here, and 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 again, Andrew's doing a fantastic work um, with with the interface design. It just uh, keeps a consistency uh, happening here. Yeah. So, okay, I still have um, I still have Swords to Plowshares open. Now here is um, Cinepads. Volume two. I, I don't know. I, when I first, when I first put my hands on it, it's just like I didn't want to get away from the first thing that I loaded, which was a multi, and we'll, we're going to definitely get into that. And the mock wheel just does some animation there. This is Bohemian Love. Oh, Histabe, good to see you. Man, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Yeah, thank you so much. And I, I tell you what, um, all of our prayers, all of our prayers are with you and your fellow countrymen, the men, women, boys, and girls that are in the middle of this. Um, our prayers are with you. And keep, keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing and persevering. Because it's gonna, um, it's gonna come. I, I think I messaged uh, messaged you earlier. You know, weeping, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. There is a lot of weeping going on right now, but joy. I have a feeling, and we're praying that joy will come in the morning. The sun has got to come up uh, sooner or later. No matter how dark it is, see, it's uh, it's coming. Joy is coming, um, and we're not forgetting. Listen, we're not forgetting about you. We we will not forget about you. Uh, yes. Just beautiful, Bohemian love. You've got little woodwind type of feeling, little, you know, I don't know. There's just so many different cool elements in here. Let's see, Florence drama. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna crank up. things I run into a lot is the SL88 is such a soft keyboard that, um, uh oh, okay. <laughs> Hang on a second. <clears throat> there we go. Come on. Come on. Give me back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. <laughs> New camera. And uh, <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think it's overheating. Okay, we don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, let's see. Okay, hang on, there we go. Let's see, let's go back. 
and you gotta you gotta do the touch screen back here. <laughs> Come on, give me the camera. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so as I was saying, um, as I was saying, the SL88 is such a sensitive keyboard that sometimes you've got to bump up the velocity range here. Nothing to see here, guy. Yeah, so in, um, in Cakewalk, in Cakewalk, you've got um, a velocity uh, velocity offset, and I always bump it up a little bit when when the SL88 is not pushing enough out there, and so that's what I just did. Here we go. So what that does, the soft velocities have the nice pad, and then you can throw the... Yes, Peaches, this is a... It is a wooden action, and it's kind of weighted. It's really heavier than the uh, SL880 I have behind me. Uh, and so um, it is. Um... That's really cool. It's got some different um, different things going on. Yeah, the mini lab. Yeah, the mini labs back here, and and I've got the micro lab. Uh, the micro labs over there. I love the Arturia action uh, on their smaller keyboards. And this uh, this one is really cool. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna pull this out one of these days on a live, and we're gonna go through that. Uh, and I'm using their new Mini Fuse Four, and I it really love love it. Uh, the interface is just I, I'm able to get lower latencies, and the performance has been really great on that uh, Mini Fuse Four. And then the other thing that I like about the Mini Fuse, it has a built-in USB hub. So if you're if you have that with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I digress. If you have this with you on the road, uh, you plug this in and then it will give you two additional USB ports. It's the first interface that I've seen that has uh, additional USB ports uh, built into it. And that's what actually the, um, the micro lab is plugged into. It's actually plugged into one of those things. Um, so let's go back. Let's pull up another one of the uh, pads. Cinepads volume two. And we've got instruments and motion in, uh, in, instruments. Let's go to uh, Sanctus. It's, it's orchestral. It just feels orchestral. It's, it sounds like what we were talking about, that hybrid. I love hearing those woodwinds, woodwind textures underneath. Um, really cool. Let's see. Okay. Thought I was hearing some things. Well, thank you, Dave. Thank you for that. That is so cool. And every every little bit helps. So thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that support. It's wonderful. Let's uh, check out a couple more.
instruments and then we'll go to, oh, let's go to the Sahara. Yeah. The woodwind, the, the, the kind of organic orchestral stuff and the, and the synthesizer type of things, those textures coming through really loud and clear. This is just one of the single patches. It does kind of sound like a duduk, yeah. that we can shape the sound even further. Big pressure. Andrew, could you explain? Um, could you explain a little bit more of what uh, the beautify, beautify knob does? Because we've got two controls. It seems like the horizon and the size. Let's load up another patch, and we can kind of play with that just real quick. Yeah, I've got the noise turned up here. Okay, so it's a dry wet control. Okay, so let's uh, check out. Uh, Golden Mellotron. Yeah. So it's a dry, wet mix control. So I can have it all the way over here. Yeah, and I and I heard it collapse a little bit in the center. Now let's just take it all the way over. And then of course we can assign that to a MIDI CC if we wanted to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and uh, load up a couple of um, a couple of multis, and uh, this is this is what I really fell in love with. This um, let's go to the motion. Yeah, this is this is the first thing that I loaded when I um, when I first downloaded uh, Cinepads, and let's see if I can. Yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so this has um, Paris 3000, Motion. Yeah, these all have Motion uh, patches in here.
Let's check another multi. Okay, let's see. Mutiny on the Bounty? Why not? <laughs> Mr. Christian! Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Okay, pink, pink fly. Let's check that out. Um, let's check that out. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Well, we've got uh, six different uh, sounds here. Very beautiful. Uh, yeah, so this uh, this is full contact. You have to, uh, Centipeds is in full contact, but you can use multis in the, in the full version or the free player. That's one of the cool things that you can do with that. Um, yeah, this is contact full that Centipeds is running in now. Um, but yeah, you can use multis in the full and the uh, free version, but this requires the full version. So yeah, there we go. Let's do, uh, let's do one more multi. Let's go to Genesis. Yeah. Let's see, find a key. Oh, wow. Here is another one. We've got six layers going on. These are like soundtracks in a box. <laughs>
so beautiful. And so many more places you can go, but you can hear, you can just hear, this has just got something so beautiful in there. Um, yeah, just something so powerful in there. And we're gonna come back to this, I think, in a minute. It is. Kyle, that's exactly right. That's that, it's that hybrid. I know we use that word a lot, almost to the point of overuse, but that's what it feels like to me, is just taking elements of the orchestra and elements of electronic music and bringing them together to create something else. And Andrew, thank you so much for being such a beautiful supporter of the channel and a, and a friend. And um, thank you so much for that. Beautiful. Okay, so last but not least, um, last but not least, uh, we are um, going to take a look at kind of like what started, what started this for me um, is uh, the latest from Audio Brewers. My friend Alejandro at Audio Brewers is Peace. And this, this has got to be, in my opinion, one of the most, um, most unique and unusual instruments. Instruments first, and then sample library. Um, because what Alejandro's done, what Alejandro's done is taking something. So this is this is from an empty missile shell. If you can imagine that, you got thirty five articulations, polyphonic legato. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Uh, let's see if we can pull up a couple of. Uh, yeah, so this is a, a couple of pictures from the from the session, the recording session here. This is a custom made instrument made from a missile shell. And it's just so hard to explain. And then uh, it was recorded in stereo and ambisonics. Um, it's just a phenomenal instrument. Yeah, here it is in the studio being recorded. And uh, just taking a taking something meant for destruction and creating something musical and beautiful out of it. Literally taking the sword and turning it into something, um, something beautiful. Mm. So here we go. And we're going to just pull this up and see where this is going to, um, where this takes us here. So you do need the full version of contact for, for peace. And, and you just notice if you have any other of, uh, audio brewers libraries that it, um, uh, it comes. Andrew, thank you so much. And, uh, give, give a big hug to, uh, to your precious son and we will see you soon. Thank you and bless you. Um, so I'm going to, um, I'm just going to load up the well, I've got the, let's see here. Here we go. So peace, you've got so many different articulations here. They just went all out with this. So let's just start with the core legato and we'll load that up and just kind of experiment with some of these. It is, it is just unbelievable. You've got to, you've got to watch the video on how they put this together. So here we go. Notice the, the blue keys and then the light green keys. Um, Alejandro has found a way to time stretch things in such a way that you don't have those, those artifacts of time stretching. So those light green keys are the stretched and the, the darker blue keys are the actual range that they sampled. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, Ricardo, we're gonna put some verb on. We're gonna put some verb on there. I want you to hear the dryness of it. And that's another good thing too. When a library is dry, you can put it in different things. Um. And you can see in the photographs that it's a very small, tight studio. That's the uh, same studio that, that he recorded Crescent in. So look at this, look at this legato here. And I'm gonna just uh, pull some more verb. Let's see, and we go to the effects. And this is like the algorithmic reverb. Let's go to the uh, convolution reverb and see if we can um, find something really cool. Let's see if we've got like, uh, okay. So Hertz Hall. Now let's go back and dial, dial that down. Okay, let's see, I've got to actually assign, um, assign it. Okay. Well. Yeah. I tell you what, let me go back because I'm still kind of learning some about the, um, let's see if we can, I need to know how to assign these, those macro controls. Um, <laughs> okay. Again, read the manual, read the manual, send me it. Okay, let's go back to the uh, core legatos here. And that way it'll get me kind of back to where, uh, um, Now the legato speed is controlled by velocity, so I'm going to, to go from C to G, but I'm going to play it very softly. So the velocity is, is slow when it's soft, but then it'll make a fast transition when I hit, hit it harder. Soft. So you hit the key harder, and it makes the transitions faster. It sounds like a cello, but not a cello at the same time. So let's uh, let's open this up, and we can go to um, the different. Um... No, this is not R Ricardo. This is not free. Uh, I think it is on uh, special uh, now for a short. A short amount of time, I think through January. Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, it's currently 69 euros, and then uh, yeah, so it goes through February 15th. The intro intro price. Um, yeah, so that'll be the uh, intro price until February the 15th. <laughs> Now watch what happens. This is this is the polyphonic legato. Every note is independent and kind of interacts with the, with each other. So you play these chords and, and and you have control over those transitions. So the polyphonic legato is note-based. So it's, it senses from note to note. So if you're playing a chord and move the note, 
uh, move the note in the chord to another note, then it kind of tracks the notes in the chord. Um, yeah. So let's see. Let's go. Um, let's go to like the consordino, or just the regular sustains. Yeah. Okay. So we still got legato in here. So let's go consordino. I love the way Alejandro did the scripting because it senses the speed of your playing and it adjusts, it's adjusting uh, with that. Let's go to Soltasto. Oh yeah, this is kind of... It's amazing. It's got just such a unique quality about it. So this is the uh, express ex expressive sustains. More vibrato. The vibrato is nice. See, so this will stack. Yeah, let's see. We can stack articulations on top of each other. So let's see. Let's go to the sustains and uh, let's load the marcato. And let's see the soltasto. Let's just do that. Okay, so the Mercado and Tremolo, let's do that. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate, uh, really appreciate the help. It's just like you guys are really helping me to go where, where we need to go. <laughs> so this is just the Mercado, just. Now let's load that with the Tremolo. Yeah. CC1 controls the dynamic layers. That's really cool. Really cool. Okay. Oh, man, really cool. So let's see. That's the core. That's the core articulations. Let's go to the uh, shorts. Let's just see what the shorts have in mind for us. And the thing is, this is one of the things about, you're talking about space. You also have this available in ambisonics, which is totally immersive. 3D, you can put it in any space in, the, in that 3D uh, deal. This is just the stereo version. So you can get stereo and ambisonics or both. Um, and that uh, really does a bunch of stuff. So um, it is very beautiful and intriguing, absolutely. So um, let's see, we load the shorts. Here's the shorts. 
and we've got the pizzicato. Yeah, here we go. Pizzicato. Let me just give me a little more gain here. Pizzicato, Bartok, Bartok Pizzicato. Spiccato. dynamic layers in the velocity is really cool. That's pretty cool. You know, Florian, I'm gonna have to check on that. I'm really, you, and uh, Alejandro's got some really interesting videos on the, the process. I think he uses, um, I think he uses maybe like the second order ambisonics on this. Uh, I know he's really, all of his sample libraries feature uh, an ambisonics version, and he's really pushing into that, uh, really going all in on, uh, on making his libraries immersive. Um, so, um, yeah, so let me, let me just turn off the verb, Zoe, and uh, we can kind of take a listen to see how that just sounds totally dry. And I'm using, like, the algorithmic uh, reverb, too, so... Um, Let's just see. Let's just turn this completely off and I'll do the same thing. It's the resonate, it's the resonators that are, I think there are two resonators. I think even one is built into the helmet. I think if you look at those shots, there is a, uh, there is a microphone. Yeah, so this is no reverb. Let me double check. I'm going to go to the effects tab here. Yeah, there is no, um, yeah. So this is totally dry. So you're just hearing the sound of the, uh, the resonating chambers and the room. Okay, so yeah, so first order is four channels and second order is five. Okay, good. Thank you for that. I'm I'm learning. I'm still I'm still in stereo 
Uh, but, um, wow. Frank Bell's in the house. Good to see you. And you should know about cellos. But to think of a cello made out of a missile shell uh, is uh, just incredible. Uh, incredible. Okay, so let's go to uh, saltando. play it like a guitar that's what it's coming across that but that's that's kind of cool though <laughs> oh wow let's see something here i'm trying to see yeah i need to do some more digging in that that um let me see if there's a way that we can um we can kind of cut into the, sometimes uh, you're able to um, go into the sample a little bit. Let's see, offset. So let's go to the sample offset. And we can actually cut that, um, we can actually cut the attack portion off. So here, that's the full sample. And now we can go like to 50% or let's go to, uh, Let's go to like. So this is kind of cutting, um, cutting into the sample, going past the attack portion. And you hear all of that metallic stuff going on. We can make it random, so we can make that offset random. That's really cool. And let's see, let's see what else we've got hiding in here. And then, um, okay, we've got special sustains and my goodness. You've got even an upside down bow. Let's go to a special sustains and uh, see what's going on with that. Yeah. It's a very unique instrument that can, you can blend it with traditional instruments if you want to uh, give you a totally different um, perspective. So these are arcs. So these are arcs.
There's a lot of emotion. Now let's check the uh, soft arcs. And we can stack these if we want. So let's stack a uh, Mercado with the short arc. So you get the attack of the Mercado, and then the arc coming up behind it. I like being able to stack these types of things. Uh, then you've got the Sforzando, and I've got the arc still turned on. Let's just listen to the Sforzando by itself, and... So it goes bump and out. Wow. Free dynamics, so they're kind of just just kind of doing something. Very beautiful. Let's just see what else we've got here. You've got to check it out. Um, I love the Consordino. We've got some, the Pizzicato. Okay, so let's do, uh, I see something really cool here. Um, Ostinato. Let's take a look at what that uh, that is all about here. Okay, yeah, so we've got uh, quarter note ostinatos. <laughs> We can stack. <laughs> yeah, Zoe, you get you kind of told you kind of told me about that stack. And I think the uh, I think this is tempo sync. Let's just change tempo here. We're gonna go just to 60. Yeah, so the um, so these are tempo synced here. Now let's see. Let's see if we do have uh, flautando. I know we've got. Um, I know we do have the um, consordino. So let's see here. We've got expressive sustains and soltasto. I want to pull up the soltasto because I think those are really nice. I don't see flautando though, but I do see. Um, Yeah. 
so yeah, so again, so the blue keys, the dark blue keys are uh, are the sampled range. So those are not stretched. So they he really he really did a lot in in giving us a lot of uh, not stretching when possible. But the turquoise keys, he's he's got this technique that he used on. I think it first was used in toy piano or some different things that that it it's some kind of a, a technique that it it is stretched but not stretched at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it's stretched but does not sound stretched. It preserves the character of the instrument, uh, which I think is really, really great. This is a beautiful tone, the soltasto. And then we've got the full dynamic range here. Okay, so we've got to do this. Let's um, let's take this and layer it with uh, one of Andrew's uh, cinepads here, and let's go to the um, that multi that I just could not get out of uh, when I first started this. The um, the beautiful eyes, and so let's just we're going to layer this with that piece preset, the soltasto. This is peace. I see. Yeah, so probably in that case though, they are they would be stretched. This is where this comes. So you've got Cinepants Volume 2. Mute Cinepads. And you can hear peace gives you that, that grit, that organic, beautiful, beautiful grit that when you combine it with the Cinepads. It's just... To um, go back to the legato, go back to the legato, and we'll still layer it with uh, cinepads, mm -hmm. but this kind of will take advantage of the um, the polyphonic legato. And I'm going to go with consordino. I'm going to stack it with the consordino and the expressive sustains here. <laughs> I think that polyphonic legato just adds another layer of expression.
I'm going to bump the uh, velocity up a little bit more so when I'm making those legato transitions, it won't be like that too much. Just every once in a while, I like it to do that.
years from now Perhaps we'll see See the King of Glory See the day when men of good will live in peace again. How can it be Peace on earth Let it begin with me Let there be on earth, let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me, let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as our Father, brothers all on me. Let me walk with my brother in perfect heart. Let peace begin with me. Let this be my song and vow. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me Let it begin with me. so much for spending spending this beautiful time together I tell you. peace on earth peace on earth let it begin with me let it begin with me let it begin with me. Man. My goodness. Anything else?
and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Neither shall they learn war anymore. What a day. What a day. That's what we pray. For peace. Thanks to Alejandro. Thanks to Andrew Fly. Thanks, thanks to Max Hitzheim. Gotta light the light, light the light, light the light. So until next time, this is Simeon with Phrasetracks.com. And make sure you check all the links. Make sure you sign up for the Wheel of Fun. Make sure you sign up for the Ask Me Anything because that is going to be unusual. Um, blessings to all of you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the wonderful community that we have here. Uh, on this channel. I really value you um, and appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for watching. And in the midst of everything, in the midst of all of this craziness in our lives, stay joyful. Stay joyful because that's going to get us through. That is going to get us through. So until next time, blessings to all of you, and I'll see you soon. And one more time, stay joyful. We'll see you next time.